Hey friends. Oh my God, it's so bright. There we go. Look at me. I am in my minivan. You can't tell. Here we are. Um, we went up to Orlando yesterday, which is about three hours from us. And we were gone all day. And this is the extent of what happens when we get home really late. And I just say, leave it, we'll clean out the car in the morning. Um, and so normally we clean it all out and it goes fast and everyone pitches in. <sighs> Y'all, I'm embarrassed and I'm gonna show you. If you know me at all, you know I have a germ problem. You know I don't like to be dirty. You know I like everything in its place. And minus Walter's hair, which we're gonna go vacuum out the car today. This is embarrassing. Like, I have plates. There's a plate in my car. A plate. I'll explain why there's a plate. And then there's girls' cups. And then, you know, we have, just to recap, there's seven of us that went up three hour drive and two of those are under the age of 15 months. You know, Harry is 15 months. Howie is two months. I guess Howie's nine weeks now. Um, so they have a lot of stuff. Um, the girls bought stuff. Their purchases, like the bags of stuff they bought, like Kennedy bought a dress and a shirt from the Disney outlet. Um, Addison bought a stuffed animal for Harrison, which is still in the car. And then Adam and I bought this like figurine. It's an ornament, but I'm going to use it as a figurine. Um, that I don't know if that's still in the trunk or not, but I'm going to turn you guys around and show you all this again, minus the huge clumps of Walter's hair. All of this was from yesterday. I have a 2014 Honda Odyssey eight passenger minivan with 10 leather seats. Um, actually I think it's leather seats. I don't know. Um, and so we have all six seats. We have to, you know, we have all the seats in, um, because we have, normally I keep this guy out. Um, but it's easier to tend with Howard who sits here if the middle seats up. So I'm going to show you the middle row because that's where I'm sitting in. I need to open the door because it's getting hot in here. So this but. is the middle row. Obviously my tripod and my keys weren't in there, but like there's a protein shake from Joey. There's Howard's car seat, the boys' diaper bag. There's stuff underneath my seat there, stuff there. That's all Walter hair, which needs to be taken care of anyways. Um, burp cloth, some more sunscreen. In here, these are the girls' cups. And then here's Harrison's cup, which has like milk residue in it, which is gross. A whole bunch of stuff of Howard's. Um, bobby pins, trash, like back here. That's my sock because I put Harry in the thing and my shoe fell off. It's just one of those weird, like no show slip socks. A wipe. Harry's toys. There's Harry's car seat. Um, snack pouches for Harry. There's probably food on the other side of Harry. Addison's trash. Addison and Harry's cup. All right, so my trunk's the clean spot because the only thing I have in here is my stroller, my sweater. This is the bag for Adam and I. Side, like food thingies. Oh, I guess we didn't grab like tops to like applesauces for Harry. I don't know if there's anything in his car seat. Nope, just hey, hey. But like, his little baby mirror needs to be cleaned. His little baby mirror needs to be cleaned. Here are my travel coffee cups. Adam's old soda. This has a whole bunch of food in it that Joey got at the gluten-free bakery because we got there right when it was closing. There's the plate. Some maxi pads. A change of shoes for me because I got a blister. Here's the driver's seat. I just have my water. All right, so when we go up there, usually we leave early in the morning because we're going to an amusement park. And so Adam will drive up and I always drive back. So the driver's side is usually always good. It's the rest of the car that's not good. So when we drive up there, obviously the boys sit in where they sit, where they sit. Um, Addison or Kennedy will switch places if they sit in the back with Harry. And then one or two of the other ones, depending on how many is going up with us, will sit next to Howard and then um 
Joey or I will sit in the passenger seat and, you know, we'll do that. Uh, and so I drove there and I drove back. And so, like, this is fine. The plate is because Adam, we left at lunchtime, so Adam had some breakfast burritos that were on the plate. And that just didn't get taken in. Joey's food didn't get taken in. It's just a hot mess. That's what works smarter, not harder, Wendy. Um, turn the car on and turn the AC on while you're sitting in here. And then you're not fighting with the wind and the traffic. Wow, look at me, so smart. Uh, so there's just a lot that I just need to get out or put where it's supposed to be. Uh, we use the cover-ups so that when we have Howard and we're like wearing him, I put a cover-up over him, whoever is wearing him, just to like protect him from the environment, like the wind, you know, the sun, people touching him. I did it with all my kids. Or he was in the stroller and that was covered up. So that's why we have that, but it's now dirty. So I need to take that inside and get a new one. So let's just... Let's see how long it'll take me to do this. So it is 1221. I don't think it's going to take me that long. Obviously, I'm going to vacuum it. I'm going to take it to get vacuumed. So that won't count for this time. But let's see how fast I can get all this stuff out. So here I'm emptying out the passenger side door. I just put it all on the seat. That way it's just an easier trip to do. I have some spare maxi pads for the kids in my glove box. We store all of our unused masks inside the little consult part. I have old doctor notes that I need to take in. If you want to see how I organize my car um, with all of the extra organization stuff. Uh, leave a comment down below and I can do that. Here I'm trying to take as many little trips as I can. I take it in the house and just leave it on the table and from there either myself or Adam or one of the kids will help take care of it. Moving to the back seat, I do the exact same thing. I put everything that needs to come out of the car onto the seats. That way I can just grab it all from the seats. I don't have to keep getting, going down and up and down and up and oh, does this stay, does this go and all of that. Here I just have a hand, I'm holding all of the trash. There I'm showing you all of Walter's hair. Uh, life with the Great Pyrenees, you guys. Hair is everywhere. Um, we took her on a couple road trips to the dog park, that's why there's so much of her hair in there here i'm just taking all the cups we're gonna take it all in there's adam here to help me get it all and passing it all off to him all right so i actually climbed back here there's the mysterious pouch i told you that there was one there's other trash underneath the howard c toy pacifier there's just trash like the girls had candy in the car Ugh. the back half stroller takes up a lot of space but I have two babies so you know we don't always leave it in the car let's go around the side here's this row I am going to go take it to get vacuumed and wipe down all the chairs 
and everything here is the back. Um, there's just a stack of probably like six or seven toys that Harry keeps in the car just to play with while he's driving, while I'm driving, he's driving. And then here's the front. So Adam sunglasses, an extra pair of sunglasses, but yeah, that's for Adam and Joey love sunflower seeds. So I keep a cup for them to keep their shells in. There we go. Oh, let's check the time. 12.51. So it took 30 minutes for me to get everything out of here. Adam did come and help me and grab some stuff so I wasn't going in and out of the house, but not bad, 30 minutes, then we'll go get a car wash and wipe it all down. I do love that I have automatic doors. I'm not a huge fan of the automatic trunk because I heard horror stories when they first came out. Oh man, this wind is making my hair rough, but I like it. It's nice with having the two boys. And I do like the automatic doors though, so that's really If you guys nice. want to see like a tour of the inside of my van and how I keep it organized and what I keep in my van at all times to make my life better, um, like weird things like I keep bobby pins in my door, um, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to show you how I organize that and keep everything in here looking nice and sharp minus the Walter hair. But... When you have a great Pyrenees, you embrace the long white hair or you'll go crazy. Oh, that was a video, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look out.